Hi guys! Today we're going to be making sand art! You may have done this at the fair or um, your local carnival or even at home, but today I'm going to show you how to do this with easy at home materials. First we're going to start with sand. Uh, this sand is just sand that you can purchase at your local hardware store. Um, it's just regular play sand, really soft, um, kind of has a little brownish t uh, color to it. But we're going to use some food coloring today to show you how to dye this sand. So, get yourself a bowl with sand, <laughs> piece of parchment paper or you know, foil, saran wrap, anything, because you're gonna spread the sand out to dry. So anything that you're willing to get sand and food coloring all over. Pick the color of your choice. Go ahead and put a few drops in there. Awesome. Go ahead and mix this around. You can use a spoon, you can use a fork, you can use basically anything that is used for mixing. <laughs> awesome. So as you can see, the color is starting to spread. You can see the purple tones coming out. And as the more you mix, the better the color spreads. So that's up to you how deep you want the color or how pigmented you want the colors. All depends on how much food coloring you use. So once it's to the color of your liking, because the food coloring will make the sand a little bit wet, what you're going to want to do is spread it out onto your parchment paper, your foil, whatever. Spread it out and let it dry. Now while that dries, I have some sand that's already dried. Bunch of different colors. See, it's fun. Um, get yourself a funnel. I'm using a big syringe type of object. I'm just popping the end out. I'm gonna use a funnel. And get yourself a container of your choice. Now it can be a mason jar, a baby food jar, an old Starbucks bottle, or even this old like sprinkles or um, herbs, shakers, anything like that. And then open your bottle, preferably with a lid. Take your syringe if that's what you're using or any type of funnel or you can just pour it in. Pick your color. much of that one color as you'd like. That's good. Let's pick another color. How about the orange? Let's do some orange now. You don't have to use a funnel, it just makes it easier if your container is a taller one. Pretty cool. How about another layer of the orange? Smaller this time, just a small layer. And how about some purple?
top it all off, have this pretty aqua color. I think that's what I'm going to use for the very, very top. Now that your container's full, just layers of sand. But get yourself a dowel, a poker, um, a toothpick, a nail file, anything long, skinny, and we're just gonna stick it down the sides and make your own patterns. Any type of pattern that you'd like to make. Now you can do this as you go. You don't have to fill up your whole container. You can start doing patterns halfway down and then change the pattern for the other half. What's important is that it's your creation and it's something that makes you happy. Sand art is relaxing and meditative while also harnessing creative energy. Put your lid on, sand art in a bottle. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so you get notifications for newly posted videos. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Try out your own sand art experiment and follow and tag us in your videos. Until next time, see ya!